welcome friends on today's video we are going to do a cookie collab and i'm doing it with miss melissa from buckeye reef girls and things okay friends on today's collab i am doing a christmas cookie collab and guys i am doing it the very easy way y'all remember miss sandra lee from hgtv cooking channel where i have got some tips from her to learn how to cook things semi so friends these cookies i bought from dollar tree they're only a dollar piece and they are betty crocker and guys they are so simple i am not trying to work hard for the holidays sorry miss melissa i made this a little bit easier so i'm gonna show you guys how to tweak this and make it taste like homemade and keep on watching i'm going to use my son and my daughter-in-law and my grandkids to test this i didn't tell them that i bought this from the store and they were so excited when they heard that i was making chocolate chip homemade cookies i said mm -hmm. so guys you would be surprised how much they like this okay guys after you open your two packs I melted the butter a little bit, uh, but just don't over melt it. But if you can, leave it out for an hour before you use it. And the direction does says to use a half a stick of margin or butter, but I use margin. And use one tablespoon of water. I use two tablespoons of water for each pack, call for one. And then I begin to stir it in it, but I did have to add one more tablespoon of water. So you want your um, mix to be cookie firm mix, not too moist. Because remember, you're going to have to make drops on it, okay? And just stir it up. That's it. And this is so easy, guys, that you don't need no electric blender or anything. You just use a spoon. And remember to heat your oven 350 degrees. Here's where I begin to tweet it. Just add a half a cup of chocolate chips. And that's it guys and continue to stir that in and here what i did i just took a the tablespoon the same one i used for the water and i measured my cookie dough and that's so easy guys so if you don't have a scoop you don't have to worry about going out buying things use what you have just use a tablespoon and just scoop it out of the tablespoon measure or spoon. I apologize, guys. I'm not home and I didn't have my stand, so I'm trying to record. Holding the phone in my hand while I'm trying to record this. And also, guys, when you do this, try to use parchment paper. I found out when I used the parchment paper, it browned even better. And, and barely no burns. It's a perfect brown. And also, when you have your cookie drops add some extra chocolate chip on top this is gonna make it more chocolatey and moist so i'm giving you all my little secrets guys so if y'all have to cook for a christmas party bring some cookies or a christmas pajama party that we are planning to do and if they ask me to do cookies i'm gonna do it the easy way so i hope guys that this has helped you inspired you and if you have not joined my youtube channel i would love to be your friend and also please like and leave a comment and i hope guys that y'all love this y'all tell me what y'all think and also guys here's my first test of my grandson and he loved it look at him bless his heart this is little lonnie and this is my daughter Test number one Dang. Uh -huh. Robert, let me give you no, it's a secret, girl. Only thing I did was oh, add the chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. That's all I did. Mm. The real, you got to get the real chocolate chip cookie. Isn't that good? Taste the good. cookie. Taste the cookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a milk. But, 
DJ, hmm? there was Dollar Tree chocolate chip Betty Crocker cookie. All oh. I did was add chocolate chip cookies, chips in it. That's all I did I, I to it. Know. Okay, guys, you heard it from my daughter-in-law and my son. They loved it. And when you cook this, guys, make sure you put it at 350, cook 10 to 11 minutes. And if it has not browned, turn your border on top to brown it. And make sure you watch it. And that's it, guys. And my next cookie, guys, is some sugar cookies. And I did the same thing, add two tablespoons of water and a little bit of butter. I think I cut it in half this time instead of using a stick. And this time I add vanilla to it. And the reason why I had to add vanilla, because in this one, I wanted to try to put some color in it. And I used some um, just regular, you know, dye to color food dye. And be careful with the food dye, guys. Um, I have cooked cakes a lot, and using food dye, you can't use too much, and um, because if you do, it'll have a, a funny taste in it. So I kind of wanted to use the vanilla flavoring. Now I did not use, make it too dark because, like I said, I didn't want to uh, offset the taste of it. And I did add about a half of teaspoon of vanilla and these are so easy guys that you can do and I didn't think about the chocolate chip cookies until later on and because these are Christmas cookies you can get the chocolate chips with the red and green colors and guys they'll think that you worked all day in the kitchen but don't tell them your secret okay so this is the finished results I taste the um, sugar cookies myself and they are real good and guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had fun doing this. I thank Miss Melissa for doing this with me, or she's the one that created this, guys. And also, guys, I want to show you my daughter-in-law wreath. Isn't this so beautiful, guys? I'm trying to get her to put these on Etsy, but she says she don't have time to really make it for a lot of people right now because of her children, her busy schedule. But look at these wreaths, guys. They are so beautiful so i just want to share this with you guys i thank y'all so much watch for watching and this is our fourth day i believe forgive me if i'm off count but i hope that y'all have a blessed holiday love y'all and be blessed bye bye